special. Um, I just want to start by saying my, my, my thoughts and prayers are with everybody in, uh, in Uvalde, Texas tonight. Um, you know, just thinking about, about them. Is that near you? you, you yeah, about, a, uh, about an hour and a half away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Good moment, though, tonight, though. Um, I know y'all saw some tears. Uh, there's a reason behind it. Um, my dad was a huge Yankees fan. Um, if you go back to Father's Day when I got called up, I got a walk-off hit on Father's Day. Um, and he would always put me in these scenarios. He always said, you know, ninth inning, down one, you need a base hit here to tie the game or win the game at Yankee Stadium. Um, and it just, uh, my dad passed away in 2013. Uh, and today was his birthday, so it's uh, it was uh, it's definitely a special moment. There, that's why the the tears were there. But um, it would have been awesome for him to be here. But I know he's he's watching. Mm -hmm. What is it about you that when when you need to do something, it's like something you need a hit to the right side, you're able to do that. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I, I, I said it before, I'm just trying to do my part on this team. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of great players in this clubhouse, and I'm just trying to do my part. Jose, can you describe the type of work that the bottom of the lineup was able to do tonight? Yeah, you know, just put some at-bats together. Um, you know, just string some, some good at-bats together. Um, and just like I said, we're all just trying to do our job here. Found out you lost CJ before the game, you can't rush in the middle of the game, and you know, at the bottom of the order, it sounds like I'm going to take in that. I'm just curious what the mentality is like in the dugout as you're beginning. You, know, you lost the lead in there, too. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, those are those are big guys. You know, like, we need those guys uh, moving forward, but, like, it just goes back to, like, us just handling what we can handle, doing what our job is and doing it to the best that we can. What do you see from Michael King? Um, it, it's just a little skid. I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Um, you know, I'll have a conversation with him. We'll talk. We'll talk some things out. Um, and I I don't doubt that Michael King's going to be back. Kind of a big spot for Clark Schmidt right there. What can that Huge. do for a young guy? That's awesome. You know, he came in. Uh, you know, his heart rate was slow, too. He was ready to go. I, I feel like he enjoyed that moment a lot, you know, um, and I think he, he accepted that um, that role right there, and he, and he did what he had to do. Which was his job. Can you tell us what kind of influence your dad was on you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, from like a young age, you know, he never forced me to play baseball, never. Um, but when I wanted to, he was always there. Um, I, it's just crazy that he would put me in that scenario. And I, I mean, this goes back to me getting traded over here. He always said, like, I'm preparing you to be a Yankee, like, always, always. Um, and, uh, I mean, if you go like, it's. I woke up this morning. Um, you know, I had a I had a, a good cup of coffee in in one of his favorite coffee mugs. Um, so it was uh, it was definitely a fun one. But he he influenced a lot of it, um, and he helped me a lot. Was that what did his name? Uh, Joe Trevino. Everybody would call him uh, Boogie. Boogie. Mm -hmm. Any reason? I heard he liked to dance. <laughs> Did he have ties in New York, or how did he get to be a Yankees fan? It's the Yankees, man. Come on. <laughs> Everybody loves the Yankees, especially his age. No, but um, I, I just think, you know, if you get to wear pinstripes, you, you, you have fun with it, and you take advantage of it. And even if you're wearing them, you don't get to wear them forever. So enjoy it while you have it, you know?